स्टार्टिंग इन फाइव सेकेंड्स सर अ टैक्स कलेक्टेड बाय द स्टेट फॉर द स्टेट जी एस टी नेचुरली हैज टू गो टू द कंसोलीटेड फंड ऑफ द स्टेट देर इज एक्चुअली अ कॉन्सेपचुअल प्रॉब्लम वेयर डू रिवेन्यूज कलेक्टेड गो वट इज द मैकेनिज्म वेयर बाय द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज डन इमीजिएटली सो डैट द रिवेन्यू कैन बी कलेक्टेड एंड समबड़ी सेट्स ऑन एट डैट इज एन इम्पोर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट डैट नीड्स टू बी क्लेरिफाइड सो डैट इज वट आई वुड लाइक डैट द ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर टू रिकन्सिडर द अमेंडमेंट नंबर थ्री डैट ही हैज मूवड सेकेंडली डैट इज एन इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट यू कलेक्ट रिवेन्यू वट इज द मैकेनिज्म एंड वट इज द टाइम फ्रेम विद इन विच इट इज शेयर्ड बिटवीन द स्टेट्स एंड द सेंटर इफ यू डोंट हैव डैट क्लैरिटी देन हाउ कैन यू कलेक्ट रिवेन्यू विच डज नॉट गो इन टू द कंसोलीटेड फंड डैट इज नॉट परमिसेबल अंडर आवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डैट कैन नॉट रिमेन इन वैक्यूम हैंगिंग समवेयर डैट अमाउंट देयर फोर दिस इज अ सीरियस लैकुना अकॉर्डिंग टू मी डैट नीड्स टू बी एड्रस्ड दैन देयर इज अनदर अमेंडमेंट नंबर फोर डैट हैज बीन मूवड बाय द ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर सर आई हैव विद मी लेटर्स from the chairman of the empowered committee of state finance ministers opposition that this bill has discussed over the last two decades opposition that was occupied by the left front government's finance minister now occupied by the current finance minister of west bengal and a letter also from the finance minister of kerala i know letters by the state finance ministers should not normally be read out here so i am not reading out these letters now both the west bengal finance minister and the kerala finance minister and i think there is a point in which they argue that there has been an issue on the question of the tax levied and collected by the union under clause 2 etc etc this is the newly proposed amendment under the same amendment number 4 of the finance minister to clause 10 whereby this amendment i am informed has not been discussed in the last empowered committee meeting of the state finance ministers and it goes against the decision of the empowered committee of 2014 where it was decided that the residual amount in the igst shall be shared with the states as per the finance commission's formula formulated during financial years therefore both the states the chairman of the empowered committee have suggested that this be deleted and let clause 10 remain what it was as a lok sabha passed it that needs serious consideration and i would like the honorable finance minister to respond to that when he sums up this discussion the fourth major point is on the dispute resolution mechanism right now it appears that it is left to the gst council they will work out a mechanism i think a greater thought must be given to that that mechanism must be spelled out more concretely and in a 
tangible form at the time when the gst bill is brought for consideration i am requesting the finance minister to do so finally sir i will end with only one point this is a very very serious piece of legislation we are making a very major radical departure from the revenues collected by the states and the central governments for their functioning we are making a very major departure from the objectives for which these revenues are collected and how they will be spent this is of such a major importance that not only the gst bill should come back for consideration but also all connected with the gst bill must be brought here also for our deliberations therefore they should not be brought as money bills i myself made an appeal to the finance minister you are aware that i told you earlier of my interpretation of article 110 of the constitution of india it is a non legal non lawyer common sense interpretation article 110 bracket 1 says what are the items that constitute a money bill article 110 bracket 2 says what are the items that don't constitute a money bill article 110 bracket 3 states that in the case of a dispute the decision of the speaker of lok sabha will be final common sense interpretation is that the matters under adjudication of the honorable speaker of lok sabha are matters that are not mentioned either in article 110 bracket 1 or article 110 bracket 2 only then article 110 bracket 3 should come into operation but now what is happening article 110 bracket 3 is coming into operation for matters listed in article 110 bracket 1 and bracket 2 i think that is wrong but anyway one of our colleagues has taken it to the supreme court let us wait for the verdict in that spirit i had even said this once before it means that in our indiscretion or hang over from the colonial rule be correct now stop